Welcome to the recorded class using ePrescriptions for Softent software. By the end of this class, you should be able to configure ePrescriptions preferences, create a new ePrescription, create an ePrescription for a controlled substance, and run ePrescription reports. The Softent ePrescription service enables you to send and manage prescriptions electronically. After you enroll in this service and set up the integration, Softent interacts with ePrescriptions to communicate directly with the patient's pharmacy using stored preferences. Once subscribed to ePrescriptions, enable the service. From the main menu, select System, Modules, ePrescriptions, Enable ePrescriptions. Your service may have already been enabled during the installation and implementation process. When ePrescriptions is enabled, the ePrescription option is available in the Prescription History window. Before you can use the ePrescription service, you must configure your login and other preferences. Configuring ePrescriptions Preferences The System menu provides access to all of the ePrescriptions options. Begin by selecting System, Modules, ePrescriptions, Configure ePrescriptions Login. The ePrescription Settings window is displayed with the User Account tab selected. Enter the user ID and password provided by the CareStream team during your setup, then click OK. Next, enter the Drug Utilization Review DUR, preferences for the providers in your practice. Select System, Modules, ePrescriptions, DUR Preferences. Use the features in the DUR Preferences window to set the Drug Review Warning Preferences for the appropriate facility or doctor in the list. You can choose to view all warnings, warnings that are moderate and severe only, or severe warnings only. Here, you can enter the default reasons for overriding a drug warning. You can then select the override reasons quickly during the prescription process. An example might be patient previously tolerated medication. The Pharmacy Preferences feature enables easy access to the pharmacies to which you frequently submit prescriptions. Select System, Modules, ePrescriptions, Pharmacy Preferences. Use the Pharmacy Preference List window to add frequently used pharmacies for your facility. Click the Search icon to display the search fields. The Zip Code and Phone Number search fields provide the most accurate results. A list of matches is displayed. Select the pharmacies you want to add and click Select. The selections are added to the Pharmacy Preference list. Next, set your prescription preferences. Select System, Modules, ePrescriptions, Prescription Preferences. Use the features in the Prescription Preference List Management window to add frequently prescribed prescription drugs and physician comments for your facility. Click Create New Prescription to add a new prescription drug to your list. Lists can be made for the facility and for each provider. To copy a preference from one provider to another, place a check mark next to the listings you would like to copy. Select the provider and then click Copy Selected Items to Physician. Creating a new ePrescription You can write a new ePrescription while you are charting the patient's condition or treatment or directly from the patient's record. Once electronically issued, a prescription reaches the pharmacy within 30 seconds. In the Patient's Chart, click the Prescription button on the Common Toolbar. With a patient record selected or displayed, click Clinical Management from the Options menu and then select Prescription History. In the Prescription History window, click Prescribe Drug from the Options menu or the Toolbar and then select ePrescription. The ePrescriptions module opens and the Benefit Plan window is displayed, enabling you to view formulary information while creating this script. Note that this is insurance-driven, so you may not see insurance information on all patients. If an available plan is listed and matches the patient's plan, select it to make use of formulary matching. If no benefit plan information is found, as shown here, the state Medicaid plan based on the patient's address is listed. If the patient is not eligible for Medicaid, select Use None. The prescription pad window is displayed for the patient. Use this window to create new prescriptions, re-prescribe an existing prescription, and manage the patient's prescription-related information. When creating a new prescription, 
complete each required field as noted by a blue dot. Begin by selecting the prescriber. Confirm the provider's DEA number. If you are a nurse practitioner or a physician's assistant, select a supervisor as well. In the drug field, enter the first few letters of the prescribed drug. Then make a selection from the list of preferred prescriptions or use the search feature to find one that is not on the list. The drug search window provides a list of medications in the database that start with the letters entered into the description field. To select a brand name drug, click Select next to the drug name. It also provides the generic version of drugs when available. To select a generic version, click the link displayed in the generic name column. Once a drug is selected, the View DUR Warnings feature becomes active. DUR warnings are based solely on the allergens added for that patient in the ePrescriptions module before creating a prescription. Allergen information from Softent is not linked, and any allergens added while creating a prescription will not prompt notifications until the next prescription is written. DUR warning notifications can be in red, green, or yellow. Warnings in red must be viewed before issuing the prescription. If the DUR summary includes a red warning, you can still choose to prescribe the medication and include an override reason. Click Accept and Return. Note that the override reason is added to the Notes to Pharmacist field. Next, in the SIG field, enter instructions for taking the drug or select from the list that is displayed when you start typing. Click the menu arrow to display a list of SIGs pulled from your prescription preferences, as well as any available industry standards for the medication. If the patient is under 18 or over 62, no industry standards will be available. A blank list means that a prescription preference must be created. If a preferred medication is chosen with the SIG selected from the preferred list, the quantity, day's supply, refills, and units of measure fields are populated automatically. If the SIG is created at the point of prescription creation, complete these fields manually. Select the DAW checkbox if you want the pharmacy to use the name brand and not substitute a generic form of the medication. Use the Notes to Pharmacist field to enter any additional comments for this prescription. These are transmitted to the pharmacy and become part of the patient's drug history record. Note that the Issue 2 field will populate automatically with the pharmacy from the last prescription issued. To select a different pharmacy for this patient, click the menu arrow to display a list of favorites pulled from your pharmacy preferences, or use the Search feature to find one that is not on the list. Use the Issue Via list to select the method of delivery for the prescription. Administered documents previously issued prescriptions. Nothing is sent to the pharmacy. This is for record keeping purposes only. Electronic sends a prescription electronically to the pharmacy as long as there is no restriction. Electronic print sends a prescription electronically, then prints it. Handwritten updates the patient history, but the prescription is handwritten by the prescriber. Print prints a prescription, which is then signed and handed to the patient. Reported documents that the patient is taking the prescription. This can also be done through the patient's history without as much detail. Sample. The doctor issues a sample. The lot number and expiration date are noted in the Notes to Pharmacist field. Telephone. Updates the patient history, but the prescription is phoned in to the pharmacy. Buttons at the top of the window provide further prescription information about the patient. Click Prescription History to view the patient's drug history record. The Patient Chart opens to the Prescription History tab. Change tabs to access more information about the patient. The Drug Allergies tab is where you can add an allergy to a drug, ingredient, or other allergen. When the list is complete, click Back to Prescription Pad to return to the prescription being written. Click Reported Prescription to view a list of reported prescriptions for this patient and report any medication that is not in the patient history. You might have to re-enter the prescription information. Click Monograph to display and print the standard information and warnings for the drug being prescribed. Click Dosage to activate the dosage checker and verify the proper dosage of this drug for the patient. You are required to enter the patient's weight. Click Build SIG to enter instructions for taking this drug to be saved in the SIG selection list. 
click Insert Allergies to add allergy information from the patient history to the Notes to Pharmacist section. When the prescription is complete, click Issue to issue it or click Hold to place it on hold for authorization and issuance later. Once the prescription is issued, a confirmation screen is displayed enabling you to print a label, print the prescription, create another prescription, and view the patient's prescription history. Creating an e-prescription for a controlled substance The process for creating an e-prescription for a controlled substance is the same as creating a new e-prescription up until the point of issuing the prescription. Controlled substance prescriptions require an electronic signature from the prescriber prior to being issued to the pharmacy. CareStream Dental eServices uses Change Healthcare and their ID.me service for provider authentication when prescribing controlled substances. Complete a new prescription and click Issue. The prescription summary window opens with details of the prescription for review. The first time you create an e-prescription for a controlled substance, you are prompted by ID.me to create a passphrase. This unique passphrase is required to be entered for every script. During the registration process for ID.me, it was recommended to use push notifications for approval of account authentication. Click Push. Approve the sign-in notification on your device. Now, in ePrescriptions, you are able to select Sign and Transmit for the prescription to complete the sign-in process and issue the prescription. The ePrescriptions issued window is displayed, confirming that the prescription was issued successfully. Running ePrescription Reports You can retrieve the following report information from the ePrescription service. Today's ePrescription Status Summary prescription reports, and prescription authorizations. Select System, Modules, ePrescriptions, and then select the menu option for the information you want to retrieve. The Prescription Status Report displays a summarized window that highlights any prescriptions requiring action. Focus on the Prescription Status section to view all new prescriptions, renewals, pending prescriptions, and errored prescriptions. The number next to each line item displays how many of each are available and can be clicked to view details. New prescriptions provide a tally of all the prescriptions created today. Renewals are prescriptions that are likely due for refill based on the original prescription date, quantity, day's supply, and refill. Pending prescriptions were held instead of issued and need final authorization before being sent to the pharmacy. Errored prescriptions did not make it to the pharmacy for various reasons. Details are available on each prescription to explain the error. Once the error is addressed, the prescription can be submitted again. The Prescriptions Report is a customizable report generator with no required fields. Only one data element is required to run this report. Use this report to show all prescriptions filled for a specific patient or pharmacy, all prescriptions written for a certain drug, and other scenarios. The Prescription Authorizations Report displays a list of prescriptions needing authorization before they are released to the pharmacy. Use the Prescriber drop-down menu to narrow the list by prescriber. Select a checkbox next to a prescription to enable the Authorize, Detail, and Void buttons or use the buttons to select all or print the entire list. Controlled substances can only be authorized one at a time due to the passcode requirement. If you are not currently an ePrescription service subscriber, contact your CareStream Dental representative for more information. This concludes the class using ePrescriptions for SoftDent software. You should now be able to configure ePrescription's preferences, create a new ePrescription, create an ePrescription for a controlled substance, and run ePrescription reports. If you have any comments or questions about this content, please contact us and reference the content code located in the lower right corner of this slide.